Hello, hello, hello. My name is Rograt. Welcome back to Caves of Cud. So, I was doing, uh, I literally just started uh, playing, doing some stuff off screen. Uh, I'm collecting the Ice Frog Corpse. Uh, where is it? We need six Ice Frog Corpses um, for a Tome of Wonder. I'm doing that off screen. Um, haven't found one yet. However, I literally, the first map that I come to, I see this uh, legendary Baraphromite uh, lecturer here. Not really interested in drinking with them, sharing my water. Uh, I want to I wanna stay on Chava's good side. Anyway, look at this. The reason I started the recording is because this is exactly what we're looking for. Literally one of the last things I mentioned last episode is we want serrated. This is going to allow us now to collect body parts, which we can use um, for our golem, which is kind of what we're going to be focusing on today. Um, not interested in anything else here, but serrated, incredibly good. So we're going to buy this straight up. We're going to learn it. And um, I'm going to get back to finding some ice frogs and I'll, I'll bring you back once we have all of those. It's just not going to be very exciting. If anything exciting does happen, I will of course bring you back. Before I do that though, why don't we... Um, so I prefer doing it through this screen. Why don't we put serrated? This is going to be sharp and serrated now. Hopefully if we have the bit, I think it'll be a number 8 bit. Yeah, we're good. So serrated has a chance to dismember opponents. Okay, of course, there are hostiles nearby, apparently. Oh. Thanks for the help, guys. Let's try that again. Boom. We are now serrated. Get ready to uh, chop some limbs off. Anyway, I'm going to keep exploring the... I'm just in the regular jungle, as you can see, just down here. Literally where we ended last time. I'm going to... Uh, find some ice frog corpse uh, how many do we need we need six of them yeah and I'm gonna take them over to the uh, the beetle and I will bring you back then okay so uh, still haven't got an ice frog corpse however um, I did just kill one invader what I didn't see though so there's this other group over here and the reason I bring you back is firstly because there are one two, three dromads here. Um, but most importantly, there's a gamma moth. Right here. So, um, this could be a, a good time for us to, um, I'll deal with this group over here. I'm, I'm trying to keep this, uh, godhead alive because I kind of want to start to build up rep with Naftali tribe and robots in particular um and that's because uh it will just allow us to pick and choose our battles um against gal gal chrome pyramids or whatever but the gal gal however our robot rep let's take a look it's not going to be good yeah it's 990 i think at this point we're almost too far gone and also, the only way I can really get rep with this guy is to, um, is to bring the, uh, what's it called? Not the Psychodyne helmet. What's the, uh, the, you know the thing I'm talking about. I am very worried about this guy. Um, also, I think this might be our first magma crab that we've seen. Uh, which is cool. I'm actually just gonna, um... Teleport over. The thing I don't like now is the Star Krakens, they used to have an indicator to tell you where they were moving. They don't do that anymore. Which is very spooky. Let me um let me sunder it from over here first just to take out a big chunk of its health. See, it's taking a lot of damage there. Gotta keep our eye on that gamma moth. There we go. There's the 800 damage. We, we probably inflicted a couple thousand damage to that guy there. And he's um he's like, eh. Whatever. He is not phased whatsoever. Let's 
Let's pop down a little preemptive burgeoning. That is not a very good one. Actually, that is a good one for us. The uh, the magma crab, we are currently shamed. Which is not great. Let's pop this uh, little chill on this guy. And give him a couple... Couple slaps. For good measure. And then we'll pop a little flambe right there. Just got to avoid this. Uh... Luckily, teleport's cooldown is like obscenely short, which is great. Okay, hello Pyra. They never seem to work anymore. Really got to watch out for... Um... That Gamma Moth. We don't want it shooting us before we pop Precognition. That would be very bad. What we'll probably have to do here is teleport back down here and then sunder this guy again. So, let's do that. Good stuff. Ten turns until Clairvoyance comes back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's pop it. Alright, they are coming back, so let's hit them with Sundermind again. Hopefully this one will finish them off. He just got hit off the screen. No, they, they died. The, the Star Kraken died. Okay. Good stuff. There we go. That's a really cool feature, by the way. Because um, because they turn into lava when they die, it turned into a, a bit of basalt because we froze it. Okay, well, it looks like my tree is going to kill the uh, godhead here. Also, they just dropped a spacer rifle, which is uh, a couple thousand... Yeah, yeah, a couple thousand drams. Not that we really need money at this point. This guy's actually getting some hits on us. We are starting to um, take off some body parts, which is great. There we go. Let's heal up a moment. Yep. Robot rep is not looking good, but flowers love us. <laughs> um Right, I'm a little a little worried about this. If we want if we want to try this gamma moth thing properly, we have to start by taking out pretty much everybody else here because we're going to want to meditate. So, let's start by Sunderminding. Okay, you have Mental Mirror. That is annoying, but I should have known. Um, let's see if there's a way to kite this guy. Okay, he does teleport. That's great. But although everybody's going to follow them. The furthest we can go with that, right there. Okay, they pop time dilation. They do know that we're here, which unfortunately means so does the Gamma Moth. Hmm, this is not really the kind of, the way that we want to do this here. Like, at all. Yes, get sucked. Oh, this guy's about to explode. Watch this. Two space-time vortices come into contact and both explode. How did he survive that? Didn't even touch him. Crazy. Alright, well, uh... I'm actually gonna just jump back here for a moment.
because we need to do this properly. You know, I, I think I can put the, um, the ice frog thing to the side for a moment whilst we figure this out. Let's go double sleep bid. Give us ice breath and stun breath. Cool. Don't put it on my hotbar though, please. All right. Try that again. Everything's off cooldown. I think I may be able to sundermine him. I don't think that their mental mirror would have come back yet. Yep, there we go. All right, there's the gamma moth. See if there's a way for us to um, approach this without getting absolutely destroyed. I'm almost tempted to pop the precognition right here. Because I'm worried that they can shoot over the trees. Let's do it. Do it and then sprint. Hit me. Okay, there we go. Now we want... Um... Ideally, anyway, we want uh, Meditate to kick in, which we're not going to be able to do whilst we're fighting. So why don't we teleport over here where we know it's safe. Okay, we need Meditate to kick in like immediately. There we go. That's going to make the Mutating Gaze... Um, Go three times as fast. Damn it. Too slow. It's those it's those first first few turns. It's the first few turns where we really have to make it count. That's a real shame. We're very close to mutating here. I'm gonna have to say yes, unfortunately. Alright. I I honestly think it's too too tedious and risky to do it with such a huge group of enemies. Um I'd have to kill everybody separately. But also doing it in such an open environment scares me because I believe these guys may be able to shoot over the trees. So I, I don't know how close I can get before we get messed up. Sorry about that, guys. I really wanted to, to test that. Anyway, I'm going to get back to looking for uh, some frogs and I'll come back when we uh, hopefully have six of them. Okay, welcome back once again. Um, literally, this is like one screen after I just paused the recording um, with the Gamma Moth. Because there's a legendary Pewter's uh, Knight here. Warmonger amongst the true. Um, firstly, he has a, a weird artifact that we haven't ID'd at three weird artifacts, in fact. Um, they also have a Force Modulator, which is interesting that we can see that. And a, a Hover Sled as well. Um... The reason I brought you back is because there's a chance he may drop an Eater's Nectar Injector. Um, so, why don't we take a look at what this uh, this guy might be rocking here. I think first thing I want to do, um, just to get a bit more time to do this, is I'm just going to jump over here a moment. And I'm going to sunder their mind. Not really too worried about this group at all. Right, he's melting. There we go. A little more rep with Svadim there. Let's go take out the rest of the gang. Nice try. Interestingly, they have um, a brainer with them. And they actually... Is this their pet as well? No, it's just a random laser turret tinker. It did drop a gentling mask. So, actually, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure at all. Anyway, let's take out this brainer. Not even worried about grabbing the uh, the stuff off of that. Where did we kill this guy? Right here. 
Okay, it doesn't look like he dropped Eater's Nectar. However, actually, maybe he... Actually, I think he did. Boom. That's a regular Eater's Nectar injector. Um, We can pop this... For, for a guaranteed plus one. Or... We can rip it apart for a drop of nectar, which is plus one to everything. Uh, but it's only a 25% chance to proc. I generally prefer to do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna disassemble it. I did that wrong by the way, don't ever do that. Okay, I actually I screwed that up. I got so excited. Okay, don't do that. Don't disassemble it. You actually have to go to the... Damn, there's a, literally a thing right here. You have to preserve it here. That is actually brain dead, what I just did there. Still, we got number six bit out of it, eh? Let's try and, let's try and make me feel better. That's maybe the biggest screw-up we've done so far. That's a portable wall. I'm not interested in that. Sleep gas. Uh, we will take the credit wedge. I actually can't believe we did that. The hover sled is very good. We'll grab that. That was real dumb. That was real, real dumb, dumb. But you know what? We say it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Because... We... Are doing very well right now. And... We actually have a legendary Eater's Nectar injector on us anyway. It's just the drops of Nectar are nice. But yeah, don't do not do that. One thing I also wanted to check out real quick. This, this corpse here, if we butcher it, right? So, one thing you might not know, even if you've been playing COD for a while, is the, the Pewters are Trukin, right? They have... Um, they don't have mutations, they hate mutants, but they do have cybernetics. When you kill them, you can occasionally butcher their bodies, and you'll actually get an artifact from them. Another artifact, another artifact, and the force modulator. We knew that they were using a force modulator. So let's see what um That's a transparent skin it and this is all this is all money. This is free money at this point. Um inflatable axons. That one's not worth much, but it doesn't weigh anything. Skin glitter. Wow. Why are we not wearing anything on our face? Um. No, just for now, I'm going to put castle face on. And uh, we'll grab these books and then we'll keep going. I, I, I don't know whether to keep looking for the ice frogs. I think I just kind of want to get on with building the uh, the golem. So, I think I'm going to use the troll's body. Yeah, I'm going to use a troll's body. If I bring maybe Jotun with us. I don't really care too much about what we build. I'm not really a big fan of using the golem. I much prefer to have it as a follower. Generally speaking. I am loving the books that we're finding along the way, by the way. Um, yeah, I prefer to have it as a follower. Get rid of this slumbling. Let's try and... No, they didn't drop the body. Fair enough. Let's grab the books. We'll go grab Jotun. We'll bring him with us. Back to Gritgate. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll we'll try and use him. See if he's high enough level. I think you have to be level 30. There's a Dromad here, apparently. Beautiful. And a bunch of books as well. Bandage, may as well grab it. I never use bandage. If do you ever use bandages in cut? I I almost never do, unless it's super early game. Thermocask, cask, uh, breeze. Uh, we will take the silver nuggets. 
Remember, we're trying to stockpile on trade goods. Um, let's get rid of the uh, the axons and the force modulator. Keep moving. Always recommend stopping at ruins, even if you don't explore them immediately. Just mark them on your map. Okay, this game is obsessed with pearl frogs. We have a whole dimension full of pearl frogs. We've got the uh, the unlucky roll here, though, where we have four invaders at once, which is um, which is fun, shall we say? I wonder if these all have the same name or if they're individuals. No, they have different names. But they're all from the same dimension. The Church of Zero and the Parallel. Which is actually a super cool name. Um, let's start by trying to sunder one of them. Okay. I swear to God, if this leech steals my XP... Okay, he didn't. I'm going to be mad... Right, we've had a force field put around us. That doesn't mean anything because we can quite easily jump out of here. Um, pop precognition because you don't want to get too overconfident. You don't know what these guys are capable of. If they have temporal fugue. Don't know if they all have the same uh, mutations or what, but let's jump over here next to this guy. Give him a little surprise. Okay, you do have confusion, but guess what? I have mental mirror. That is so funny, look. Re reflects immediately. So, they are now confused, and this is pretty much game over. If we could get a body part, that would be incredible. Um, we didn't get a body part. Let's go see what the other two are about. Let's see, no. Probably is a good idea for us to charge up our precognition again, but um, I haven't got time for that. I've got frogs to murder. Um, grab the books. Book, book, book. We did just almost get frozen. What is happening? I know one's in here. No? Where? Where are they? What a strange... Ah, there you are. Hello. You're trying to suck me. I don't like that. You know what? Have some burgeoning. Have a really bad burgeoning. Oh, you've also got burgeoning, huh? Interesting. Have you got Sundermind? You have Mental Mirror. Fair enough. Let's see what happens, though, when you're frozen. Have fun with that. And then we'll defrost you rapidly. You're still somehow frozen. Very funny. You boosted your strength. Okay, you have adrenal control. Oh, sorry, ego projection. Cool. We've got tongue tyrants. Come on, just... One dismemberment would be nice. This guy's about to hit me through a, a wall, probably. Yep, there we go. Try and avoid these guys if we can. Okay, he also has teleport other. He doesn't know that we have teleport. Smash the wall down. Okay, he's probably going to die anyway, if he's being gobbled by a tongue tyrant, my nickname in high school. No, nope. still alive apparently. Good luck trying to freeze me, I have a hundred cold resist. Are you a different guy? No, you're the same guy. Get sundered. Never mind. You're, mental. You, you're actually a different guy. There's no way you're the same guy. Stop casting burgeoning. I'm the one who casts burgeoning, okay? What a 
What a cursed level. My tongue tyrant doesn't seem to be goblin in the way that I want it to. I'm going to try and deal with this guy at the bottom then. See what their deal is. Okay. Confusion was uh, reflected. Actually... Perfect time to use Sundermind. As long as we can get it to proc before the confusion ends. There we go. There goes that one. There you are. Give me your limbs. Nope. Alright, well, we're done anyway. I don't think there's really anything else here for us. I think we fully explored... Let me double check that though. Yeah. Oh no, there are books in this room. No problem. We can simply break down the wall. Whilst our plants will fight each other. Alright, now we leave. No, we don't care about goat folk villages. Right, let's go grab Jotun. I believe he's still on this map. Hello, buddy. Um. Firstly, do you have any more info? Remember, we still have to go after Kindrish. We know where it is. We just need to find a spiral borer. Let me proselytize this guy. Uh, proselytizes L. There we go. Right now, come with me to Gritgate, please. Um. Oh, you know what? You know why they didn't come with us? At least I think this is the reason. Luckily, we're not far. But that is annoying. Um, the reason is... I believe because we told them to wait at one point and they're still following that order they're so loyal such a legend right um director come along there we go now they're following let's try that one again there we go beautiful stuff down we go there's our bedger that we animated last episode right Really? You're telling me that Jotun, one of the only three remaining trolls left in this land, is not high enough level. And the annoying thing is, I've got no way of checking what level they are. Because I don't have uh, domination. I've got no idea what level Jotun might be. That's really annoying. Um... I think we'll have to use a high, uh, like an end game. Oh, man, that sucks. I really wanted a troll golem. We can try and level him up, but he's almost certainly going to die. You know? Guess we'll keep him with us for now. Well, alright, well if that's the case, then um, I guess we'll head uh, over to the the moon stair and do some stuff over there then maybe try and fight a uh where am i going i'm going here maybe try and fight a chrome pyramid also maybe grab a little bit of neutron flux if anybody's got any no no Oh, Icon merchants uh really not great, are they? Jotun is definitely what are you doing? Okay, they're killing the fish. Fair enough. Right. Let's see if Tilly has anything worth while before we leave. Any poly gel? Taco Suprema. Finally. They used to be so common. Uh, 
And now that you uh, you don't see them anywhere, that I think they changed the um, the rarity quite a lot, which is honestly for the best because they were maybe arguably too common. This is, literally we found one for today. Um, yeah, we'll we'll sell one of those and then. Oh, you do have some more trade goods as well. Um, we'll take the topaz. We'll take the silver nugs as well. Perfect. I know technically these weigh nothing. Um, but I just like the idea of carrying a bunch of trade goods, really. Also, I've got hiccups right now. For some reason. Um... Do you have anything I want? No, doesn't look like it. What about you? You have a metamorphic core, which we'll definitely take. Um, jeweled sandals, a bunch of plaster for gear. Not encountering much um, in the way of uh, Zetachrome, but that's to be expected. They're not very common. Like, at all. This thing is... Really lucky that we found it. That's all I'll say. Um, what can we sell here? We actually don't have much to sell. Alright, fine. I'll sell some... Uh, there's no way I'm going to be using all of these Sphinx Salt Injectors anytime soon. Well, we have no Neutron Flux, which is smelly. Let's um, put this Spacer Rifle away for now. As well as all of our books, just to save on some weight. And we are going to head into the Moon Stair. We've, um, we haven't been to the moon stair yet. Uh, it's actually not that bad of an area. It does have chrome pyramids. And it does have zero gels. But for the most part, if you're smart, you can kind of... Um, you don't really have to worry about any of that. Uh, we're still kind of heavy. Three, 309, huh? We are carrying a, um, a hover sled with us. And a bunch of... Uh, Trade goods. I guess technically we can leave these here. And I'm going to put these. Uh, I'm going to put these in the rock tumbler. Let's move them. We also want to see if Bep has anything interesting to sell. Metamorphic core. A number six bit. No, 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 no. There we go. You have got to do it there. Uh, lacquered, serrated again. Okay. So we would have found it regardless. Um, you can have a uh, have yourself a solar cell. And maybe a Hulk honey injector. All right. Let's get out of here. Oh, wait. Put these in here. So, yeah, if you don't know, that that's a rock tumbler right there. And you can put your... Man, this menu needs a little bit of work. Sometimes it's enter, sometimes it's plus and minus. But using plus and minus on here actually just increases the amount that you select. There we go. We'll put them in there. They'll, they'll become uh, smooth over time, and they'll be worth slightly more money. Alright, let's roll. We do have a historic site. We could perhaps head towards that. Now, you can't travel through, as you can see. The Moonstairs geometry is too disorienting. So we'll go manually from here. We know that we're in the center, Parasang. Luckily, whatever we kill, I think, will gain some rep. We'll gain some um, XP for our follower as well. 
Okay, that was Kesselface that did that there, that teleported us. I did say previously that that is really annoying. It's not too bad on the over map. It's really bad underground to be teleported. But on the on the clear over map like this, it's actually not not too bad. So we'll make the most of it. There we go. Oh my god, look what's on the floor. Firstly, a gas tumbler. You don't find those much anymore. This is no good to us. But, um... A nice bit of loot. It's worth quite a bit. Um, it does weigh 20 pounds, so I'm actually just going to rip it. But this is a good thing. This is a legendary chef. East and south of the Freehold. The, the location of a legendary chef is particularly good because... It's going to be this place right down here. There's a chance that they may sell um, drops of nectar. Anyway, we'll... Um, you know what? No, we'll go now real quick. I know we're kind of all over the place. I will forget that this exists after today. So we may as well explore it now. What have we got up here? Nothing. Just a bloated pearl frog. Try and take out this uh, turret tinker. Jotun doesn't appear to be doing anything. Oh, there's a Rhinox here. Jotun's literally not doing a, a thing. He's just stood there, which is further proof, I think, that uh, allies are currently bugged, it seems. Yeah, you did charge me, but that's fine because we did freeze you. Uh, the Rhinox are pretty cool. Actually, if we could maybe dismember. No. Alright, fair enough. Let's get a bit of a chain reaction going here with these explosives. It's been a while since we've seen some tumbling pods. Okay, there's one done. And two. Free food. Always good. This is great. Fermented yonder cane. That's very good as well. Although we don't really need it anymore. Mashed lag. Congealed love. Alright, downstairs we go. Okay, there is actually... Oh, wow. What a spawn. That's actually unbelievable, uh, you might, some might call it bullshit. Um. Interesting. I don't like this one bit. I'm gonna pop precognition. This smart sap needs to perish immediately. Um. And then obviously we'll deal with you. But, um. There we go. Right, I've been bonded with. Guess who else knows Siphon Vim, buddy? This guy. Also, you're dead. Alright, so we have a... Seems to be a lot of Dromad Thralls, which is weird. There's another one up there, though, trying to be sneaky. Let's just hope that they they drop some good stuff. I hope these guys don't get involved. We just cut something off of the... We cut their arm off. That's rough. It says the Dromad is very tough. That is absolutely not true. Okay, there goes one Dromad trader. They dropped two Taco Suprema. Holy cow. So we can technically use this to build our Golem. I may grab it and take it with us, but look at that. Two Taco Suprema for free. That's like a, a thousand drams. Not to mention the herbries. You can really never have too many of those. Silver nug as well. I think I'm going to... Ah, we should take the copper nuggets. It'd be silly not to. Also, the floating glow spheres. 
for what they weigh, they're they're also pretty decent trade good. All right, let's keep bashing here. Jotun, thank you for uh for for doing nothing. Is there a problem with you? Do I need to tell you? No, you are set for um for combat. You're just not. Maybe you are stuck though. To be fair. There's another dismemberment. Take out the caravan guard. Work on the turtle. Thing's got a lot of health. There we go. Dealt with. Now the monad. Hey, it looks like we have dismembered the monad. We could try and use a body part from that, maybe. I'm not sure what that will give us. I try not to look up too much when it comes to building the golem. So as not to spoil it. Loving all these crits, by the way. I still can't believe I accidentally ripped that Eater's Nectar Injector apart. That was really silly of me. Yeah, there's Monad, Monad's arm here. Um, I'm going to grab it. And I'll also grab... The Dromad... Actually, I'll grab the Dromad Trader's face, because that also gives us Ego. Not that I'm going to equip it, but we could in theory. If we put two faced on our helmet. Actually, yeah, you know what? Let's finish dealing with this guy. Okay, there's also now a um, assault back. It weighs a lot, though. But that might be good. That might give us a whole bunch of like health or something. I'm going to grab it. We can take them back and test them. It will tell us what they, they will actually give us. There we go. Yeah, I mean, the corpse weighs like 40,000 pounds or whatever this unit of measurement is. It is pounds. Uh, one more guy left here. There we go. You dropped an herbary. Okay, Jotun, how you doing, bud? I don't know if you're leveling up. But you know what? Let me give you uh, some orders to... Acquire new mutations. And then we'll melt this guy from across the way. Nope, they have magic mirror. Anyway, let's see what this cook is about. Uh, hated by fish, hated by crabs. No point drinking with them, because Merchant's Guild isn't really implemented yet. Okay, you don't have anything. Mm, you don't have anything. That's unfortunate. We should, we could really start buying out recipe books. Um, because you can also trade them. Uh, for XP. But I'd rather... Let's start heading towards this uh, historic site. Stopping, of course, to check out the ruins. Because you never know... What you might find here. I think Jotun might die here. We'll see. Start by chilling. Okay, there we go. Didn't really want that to happen, but that's fine. And then we'll use a, a little burgeoning out there. Hopefully, Jotun can handle themselves. And, uh... We'll use Sundermind on that sleep bid. Right here, the big one. 
melted. Okay, Burgeon's coming back. It was one of the worst burgeonings of all time. Just use my mouse, it's quicker. Hey, you were smart enough to move away. Congrats. Nice. It's exactly what I wanted to happen, honestly. Uh, Jotun, where are you, bud? Oh, right there. Walk this way. Good. And walk this way again. Good stuff. We good? It's those lush gels that I'm worried about. They do hit very hard. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's, uh... There are no books here. We could explore below, but I don't think there'll be much point. This is just going to be a regular underground jungle area. It's just going to have a bunch of saps, probably. Oh, wow. Any gal gals around here? Probably. Anyway. Let's start heading towards this. I know we haven't really done much today. Building the golem is quite tedious. There's a lot to do. But at least we're starting, huh? Okay, a bunch of uh, saps up there. We've got a Svardim Eld over here as well. Not really too worried about that. Past a uh, burgeoning a little way over there. They're probably going to start messing up Jotun. Okay, I don't care about the irritable palm. Please don't tell me. Okay. Just keep burgeoning. Let my followers do the work. Okay, troll foal, that's fine. We don't care about these guys. Pop-ups are kind of annoying. To be fair, there's nothing the trolls can do because these guys are all flying. So, um... It's not really their fault. So I'm going to have to start shooting them. I just don't want to accidentally kill our followers, you know? But that is probably what's going to happen. Good, good. All right, that's annoying. Yeah, we can't be using Castle Face. Just too annoying. Really, really unfortunate that we got such a low roll. We'll put the Dromad's face on for now. Keep chopping. We did just get a tart beard body part. Don't know what effect that might have. Anyway, let's keep heading to the right side of the map. Oh, hello. Okay, just remembered the Eld's face. See how much uh, ego that gives us. Still just two. I'll grab it. Nice. Jotun actually... Actually did something there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. Let's heal up. Keep moving. We should be about to enter the moon stair. Here we go. And our first moon stair has a chrome pyramid. 
<clears throat> that's a that's an interesting interesting thing. Hold up. Well, here's what I want to do first. Don't ever go into the moon stair without as many EMP Mark Threes as you can you can tinker up. Okay, trust me. They're all going to be incredibly valuable. This is very stupid, by the way. Fighting a Chrome Pyramid as a Chimera, easy. Fighting one as an Esper, Jotun's going to die here, just for the record. <clears throat> I hope you're okay with that. Once we've disarmed it, it's really just a matter of um, staying on top of it, you know? Seems to be the only enemy here, which is great. See if we can get it to come towards us. Not a good time for clairvoyance to run out. That was really stupid of me. Didn't think you saw me. There we go. Right, so as you can see, these strange tubes, this is basically a whole missile battery that it has. So you want to try and cut that off. Like, as soon as you can. Because the rockets are the only thing that are going to really get you killed with a chrome pyramid. We have, we somehow, okay, we have dismembered left armature. They do regenerate, but as soon as you remove their, um, forget what they're called. It's pretty much game over for the chrome pyramid. Okay. This is actually really bad because the fact that he shot me point blank before we had a chance to disarm, that doesn't normally happen. So I'm going to say yes. Um, and I'm, I'm merely going to teleport away here and uh, run away with my head in my hands. I'm just going to take a step back and hope that they didn't follow me. We'll give that another go, though. Let's cook up. Grave Moss will give us better... Get rid of this cider. Grave Moss should give us better burgeoning, I think. Yeah, plus five levels to burgeoning. Good stuff. All right, keep healing me. And I'm just going to wait until um, Precognition comes back. Because we're going to need it to deal with the Chrome. It'll be a nice little thing to end the episode. Um, okay, you're there. If you could please move towards me. I would be very, very grateful. Pop precognition here. Throw a little EMP grenade just around the corner. And then move. Start slicing. Okay, perfect. I don't know why that was really quiet, by the way. These strange tubes. This guy is basically useless now. Um, so this is great. This is really, really good. And uh, he shouldn't really... We did destroy them, unfortunately. Where does... Where, where, where did that happen? Didn't know you could destroy items with uh, frost. That's a new one. Yeah. The frozen strange tubes are destroyed. Okay. Well, hopefully we'll find more. I really wanted to rip those apart because it's a free, uh, free number eight bit. Um, let's keep chopping. Okay. Shield is up. That's fine. Their shield will never come down. You just keep throwing EMP grenades at them. We can also pop a sunder, uh, sorry, a burgeoning in there as well. Might help slightly. They have so much health, Chrome Pyramids, it's kind of hard to uh, to keep on top of them. We do have um, Electric. I believe they do take a lot of damage from Electricity. 
So that's an option we can keep just firing, but I think we're also doing some damage to ourselves here. Um... Yeah. The problem is as well, because we EMP'd ourselves, we're um, not really getting the full benefit of uh, like gesticulating and things like that. So we have to reap it. There we go. That's what we want. So if you can position yourself where the Chrome Pyramid will push you into their shield. Excuse me. We can just keep chopping. We are going to have to use quite a lot of air breeze. We don't have much uh, health on this character. But that's okay. We'll keep chilling them every now and then as well. We have 100% uh, cold resist, so really no biggie. And this is really more just for um, bragging rights than anything. It's actually not worth killing Chrome Pyramids most of the time because you actually don't get much XP. Keep chopping. Keep popping. I knew Siphon Vim doesn't work, but I just wanted to try it. Forget how many thousand HP this thing has. Um, I actually don't know if I can be bothered to just sit here and hit it endlessly. It doesn't really work the same when you're not playing a Chimera, you know? That's going to help though. We do have a Gorge Growth sitting on top. Good, good, good. They are, they are getting dismembered regularly. They're only lightly damaged, as you can see. We do need to eat through an uh, uh, Breeze though, because we do have too many, so I'm actually fine with this. We just want to avoid like a really unlucky giant hit from him. Generally, they're not that good at melee. I think I'll just use that as my opportunity to eat an Erbery. Dismembered, good stuff. You can hear that noise there where they're actually regenerating. <clears throat> you can see now they are dazed and stunned. Actually, I think I did mention a couple episodes ago about specking into uh, either Axe or Cudgel. I actually think, uh, since we have Serrated, I think I'm, I, I think, I think I'd rather go Cudgel for the stun. Could be fun to, to do that, just to have a perma stun thing going on, you know? Right, let's keep chilling. Actually, no, we're not going to chill just yet. Okay. They just got hit there into the, um, the Gorge Growth did that. That's fine. Um, let's cast another burgeoning on top. Okay, this guy's going to get absolutely battered by these trees now, which is a really funny thought. If we can just keep the stun on him, I'll be happy. Okay, there we go, eat another Erdbury. Probably start popping some of our, um, salve injectors. Don't really ever use these, but they are okay for a little additional sustain. Uh, let's go chill now. Okay, they are now damaged, which is great. Let's pop an Erdbury. Let's pop a salve injector. These do, uh... It's nice to actually be using them for once. I'm not really a salve injector enjoyer. Okay, the trees are really helping out, although they did just push us out of range. So hopefully this guy's going to move towards me now. 
And we can, yeah, he's pushed us through his force field again like a fool. So I think the Chrome Pyramid is like, they're level for, for 52, I think. Might be wrong about that. Um, but I just want to show you, like, it is possible, even as an Esper, to take one on in melee. It's really the best way of dealing with them. EMP. Make sure you can disarm them. There we go, he's dead. You only get 1,400 um, XP for it, which is not great. But because they are kind of easy, once you know how to kill them, they're really not that hard. Also, they drop normality gas yes, when they die, which is a nice little touch. But there you go, that's the Chrome Pyramid gone. Um, unfortunate that we uh, accidentally destroyed the uh, the missile battery that they drop. I'll take a I'll take a Chrome Pyramid's undercarriage. Tee hee. Um, where are we in relation to this historic site? We're pretty close. How about we go... I was going to end here, but let's make our way there. Should be um, two more screens over, I think. Uh, and just see what's there. Then we got all these body parts. And we'll... Uh, okay. There's a goat folk shaman right above us there. Okay, good. They got confused. They got reflected, which means we can probably sunder that one's mind. No problem. Alright, there goes one. Uh, there are three of them that I can see. We also have our first ever Dream Krungle and Organic Zero Gel here. A little worried because the Zero Gel will very easily kill Jotun. Um, so that's something to keep an eye on. Let's try and put a little wall between us. Wow! What happened to our burgeoning? What the hell was that? Okay, the Dream Krungle's firing. Okay, they also have burgeoning, it looks like. Let's bring them across here. Okay, they do... Ha okay, that's actually... They have stunning force, which is a little bit scary. Um, I wonder... Could you, call could you imagine how cool it would be if we could... Um, if we teleported right inside... Okay, no, that didn't work. I simply destroy his force field. Dismembered. Cut his hand off. Don't use stunning force, though. Please. Okay. Those are annoying. That's really annoying. These uh, Vanta Bloom are going to prevent us from seeing anything. Um, and Clairvoyance is still on cooldown. That's really stinky. A tongue tyrant there, apparently. Come over here, you scumbag. Thank you. You fool. You absolute fool of a all of a man. I think you're actually a different guy. Get froze. Hold up here whilst I murder these plants. Okay, we did just get bashed through a wall quite badly. Take out this gorge growth. Before it bashes us again. Dude, you gotta stop. There you are, you fool. Um, you know what? Siphon Vim is going to take a little bit out of you. Let's do that, and then let's try and sunder you. Bing bong, yes. One extra ego for me, please. Thanks.
Right, the, the Dream Krungle is something I, I do want to mess with later on. But not right now. Let me just break uh, contact here. Okay, let me just hold up right here. What is... Oh, interesting. Okay, so they actually have Temporal Fugue. Oh, no. You know what happened? No, they mu this must be... This is either Temporal Fugue, or if you break these crystals, there's a chance they can create um, clones of you, but, like, evil clones. They are fighting the um, Zero Gel, so that's good. I'm just going to watch this for a moment. Or as long as I can, because um, I'm going to put a little barrier between us and them. I want to see if these clones go, if they're temporal few clones, or if they're permanent. So if they're permanent, that's going to be a real problem. Although Jotun is also about to die here. Um, no, he's fine. That zero gel you got to be careful of. Okay, they were temporal few clones. Where's the original gone? I think he may have been sucked. Roten is very, very close to death here. In fact, so much so, I'm going to just take a step back. That zero gel is getting very close, and I think it's currently phased. Yes, it is very phased. Okay, the troll foals are doing some work. Did you see that explosion? Yeah, I don't see the uh, the goat folk shaman here, so I'm hoping these tongue tyrants will take care of the zero gel. Yes, okay, the zero gel is dead. Um Right, let's come back this way. Super annoying area now. Okay, do not tread in that static. Always check. That's entropic. Um, so we need to avoid that. Oh, Jotun's having a bad time here. But I think we're good. Wait, what was that? What do you see? What do you see, boy? It's just that one zero gel. Come on, you're going to be okay. He convinced himself he bled to death. What an interesting... Interesting... I love the fact that that was implemented. He convinced himself... That he bled to death. Well, Joden, thanks. Um, I guess we won't be using your body after all. But um, you were you were a good lad. Top bloke. Real geese. I'm just gonna make my way to the. Um... Oh, you're gonna kill the dream crongle. We can't see that, so there's no point trying to cast that. In fact, we shouldn't really be standing here full stop. Come on, clairvoyance, come back. Right, there we go. Did it die? No, it's over there. It's, um... I think it might have been crongled. No, it's just sappy. Alright, whatever. Tongue Tyrant? No. Yes, Gorge Growth. Hit it. Nice. Still not fighting that in melee, though. Not a chance. 
We'll take this out. We'll go to the historic site and then we'll end there. We've got a lot of body parts. We'll also proselytize something because um, we're going to need a body. Since I can't be bothered to... Um... Okay, one hit at a time here. I actually don't trust it whatsoever. I'm going to siphon Vim. I'm going to take a step back and I'm going to burgeon. Wait, where's the Vanta Bloom? That needs to perish immediately. There's another one somewhere that I can't see, which is terrifying. Okay, the Zero Joe is dead. Bunch more zeros here. Where the hell is this historic site? Let me take a look. Okay, we can do a little... It's technically a little bit of a cheat here. We're currently in the west of this parasang. We can jump straight to the center. Which is not a good idea, by the way, because we don't know what the hell we're going to see. And we don't have a safe place to run back to, but... Um, wow. Wow. All right, well, um, that's a salt kraken. This is interesting because this is actually a group of, um, <gasps> okay. Okay. I'm going to end here next episode. The beginning of next episode is going to be a banger. Trust me. Um, magma crabs, whatever. No one cares about magma crabs. If that's all there is here, then I'll take it. There's going to be a lot of lava. But that's a phase cannon tinkerer. We have the potential to get the best ranged weapon in the game here. Um, Lamprey is annoying. We know how to deal with it, though. Uh, taking these guys on without our Temporal Few clones. Not going to be uh, as easy as it once was. But I do have hope. This is kind of a mixed squad of uh, both Templar and, like, Seekers. The Salt Kraken is going to be difficult. That's an insta-kill if it touches you, obviously. Uh, I'd probably start by killing that before we kill anything else. But there we go. I'm going to leave it here. My name has been Rograt. You've been watching Caves of Cud. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.